Hi, it's me again with Corel Dwell Tips and Tricks. And several days ago, somebody sent me a, a photograph of like a sign that was lit up on a board that looked like there was accent lights behind it, like lighting up the, the letters behind. And I tried every different way. I tried, you know, block shadows and everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the text and let's make it bold and control D and make a duplicate of that text. Then take this text and take away the fill. And let's make sure we got the same size text. And we do. And then I'm gonna take that text, I'm gonna contour it to the outside one time. That's too much. Uh, let's put try point three. We don't really want the letters running in together, but they do. Let's see if this would work. Break contour apart. Take the inside letters and just move them out of the way. Now we're going to take those letters and turn them white and take away the outline. And then we're going to go to effects. And I've done this several ways, but blur and feather blur and whatever this word is, I can't pronounce, but it blurred it pretty good. Um, matter of fact, you can make it just out of sight blur. Well, let's try it like right in there. And then because it's bigger, it's going to stand up behind it. And voila. Now this is evidently for printing. Uh, we'll new, never get to do that in laser engraving. But that does look like it. it's a sign that's been backlit. This one I actually did with a feather blur. It's not quite as pronounced, but it's, it is actually sharper angles. So just play around under effects and blur. There's the feather. I tried almost every one of these before I could get anything uh, that I was happy with. Anyway, hope that answers his question finally, and thank you for watching.